Another patient is brought to hospital, having been rushed in by ambulance. This one is an emergency, but for many who come here, that's far from the case. You see people come in here with dental pain, you see people come in here with back pain, you see people come in here with problems that they've had for months, weeks, and haven't sought advice from any other um, service. If you've come to an emergency department and you don't have a true emergency, you might wait seven, eight, nine hours to be seen by one of our clinicians. But just the fact that you're here adding to crowding means that the standard of care that we can provide to the people who truly need emergency care is less. And that means having to work far beyond capacity. To give you an idea of how busy they have been here, this department has 34 cubicles for treating patients. Yesterday they had to deal with 120 people at the same time. All of this is made worse by people still being in hospital who no longer medically need to be there. That happens when there's not a care package in place to move them to a home or their own home. The result is a lack of space to transfer people through from A&E. The Royal Infirmary campus was a, a site that was designed to have zero delayed discharges and at the moment we've got over 100. Um, it, it therefore isn't a great surprise that we come in every morning to somewhere between 30 and 40 people waiting on admission to a, a ward. Although the number of Covid patients in hospital hasn't been increasing recently, the uncertainty of what the Omicron variant could bring is adding to the pressures on staff. It is hard going and it is a struggle and you know we support one another as the best we can but it is a worry every day you know everybody pitches up to work and just gives it their all and we really couldn't ask for any more from them. The latest figures for A and E across Scotland show more than a quarter of patients are having to wait longer than the four hour target to be seen. At this hospital less than 60% were dealt with within that time and people working here are stressed by that too. All they really want to do is deliver the best quality of care they can to those who are sickest and who need it most. And anyone who's attending an ED without a good reason to be there makes it really difficult for the team to do that. In these corridors and cubicles, the Christmas wish is for all of us to think first before simply heading straight here. Gordon Cree, STV News, Edinburgh.